This year's budget is about helping Aussies with the high cost of living and getting more people back into work. It's a big spending budget with our nation's finances heading a further $78 billion into the red. To the winners and losers, low to middle income earners get a one-off $420 cost of living tax offset. The fuel excise will also be cut in half for the next six months. Pensioners and welfare recipients will receive a one-off $250 payment and there's a $2.8 billion pool for upskilling apprentices. Big spending on infrastructure with $17.9 billion of priority road and rail infrastructure as part of the record $120 billion 10-year infrastructure investment pipeline. The safety and health of women is also a priority of this budget, with more than $2 billion allocated to spend on initiatives to support female well-being. There are some big losers in the budget though, with universities missing out again. Travel was also left out, even as the country's international borders reopened to the world. And climate change was again a very notable absence, despite the disastrous floods that are still wreaking havoc on the East Coast. Some economists say they are worried that this big spending pre-election budget will only boost the already strong economy and add fuel to the raging inflation fire.